Now before I can make this thing fit in here, uh, there's a little wall that's in the way, so we're going to have to get rid of that by taking some little tips here, little dikes, and cutting through here and here. I can only do it one-handed, but uh, once all that comes out, ooh, look at that, I can just twist it. Nah, this one-handed operation stuff ain't working. Ah! See, I hate, not even a frame anymore. So hang on while I take a bunch of stills. So that's just what came out of here. And that needs to be cleaned up so it's good and square so that it looks like this one over here. See how it's all just square so that fits perfectly in there. So a little bit more. So there's a little lead weight I'm going to be pounding to death here. Uh, I did it in slow motion before, but I think I'm going to do it at normal speed. I didn't bother taking the uh, little brass loop off the top because you know what? You don't need no reason. What we're looking to do is to make a polyhedral uh, shape here. You know, six sided dice. Some of you are gamers. You can make your own dice. Check it out. But this ain't going to be a, a dice. Because, you know, first off, it, it's a little bit loaded. So that's that. Up close, this doesn't look very pretty, but uh, then again, I'm not done sanding or painting, but this is here to show you that the reason we put that lead weight inside of there, where we did, you'll see that orange tip right there. You can't see with the light the way it is, so we'll just take all this off. That's what you're aiming for. See, look, you didn't really need to, take, to flip that thing off. So when we take the lead weight out, you'll see the, the damage I did inside of there to so make it fit. That's what you have to look forward to using things like this. Unless, of course, you have the cleansing nature of fire at your disposal, in which case, use a fire extinguisher.